Welcome to the Poets Cast. Our topic today is bad dates. Who are you? Who are you? I am Will Hume, and uh, I am here with my buddy Jay West. <laughs> I'm and, Jay West. Yeah, Jonathan Murphy and Megan Lewis. Hi. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. Round of applause. Round of applause. And today we are talking about bad dates. <laughs> we've all had them, I'm sure. Or, yeah. or dating. Or we've all done them. <laughs> <laughs> we've all done them. Like you actively like, yeah. tried to bad perform the bad date. Yeah. Bad Murph. Mm -hmm. Bad Murph. Hey, the name's Murph. Bad Murph. Uh, <laughs> What's the earliest you've ever tanked like a bad date? Like, have you ever gone in? And been like, this is gonna be bad, I'm just gonna get through it. The just best instantly second. walk in, flip the table, and leave. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, literally, the only thing, literally the only thing you see in rom-coms where the dates, like, I mean, I would say when, when dates go bad in real life, they're just kind of like, boring or something. But in like, movies, it's always something like, of course, super over the top or whatever. It's like, yeah. oh, we go to an expensive restaurant and they behave like a, a pat, Path, like a psychopath or whatever. Yeah. But, um, uh, I, a good sign that the moment I knew that it was going to be bad day is, uh, after a half hour, I realized they weren't showing up. No. <laughs> wow. And then I buy a too expensive salad. I was going to say, I, I could see myself just sitting at a table, like, and then be like, yeah. Is your date coming, sir? Mm -hmm. No, thank you. Yeah, it's four one, please. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'll take the batter of nachos, please. Is there any yeah, yeah. <laughs> This is a weird French waiter at the Mexican restaurant. <laughs> There's a French waiter at the Mexican restaurant. Yeah. I have to say that moment. I, I've never been stood up on a date, but is there really anything worse than like sitting in a place like? waiting for someone to show and not knowing if they, like, actually will. Yeah. Um, I, 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 there is... And did you order, like, after your, your date, like, did you uh, continue to order and eat the salad and, and continue there? So I can tell you, you what's, it? what's much worse than them just not showing up is, uh, someone if you, if you... <laughs> no, that sounds actually pretty good. Yeah, yeah. that would have been better. Yeah. Um, no, is when you look on the app, the dating app that you, uh, talk to them on, and they've unmatched yeah, you, so they gone. disappeared. Yeah. So they ghosted you ghosted sure. twice yeah. in one moment. Yeah. And then afterwards, uh, so I ordered a drink first. Mm -hmm. um, this was at a really, I guess, a pricey coffee place. Um, what was the name? Uh, Panchancho. Okay. And um, I didn't really want to give names, but yeah, we've, we're, we we're there now. Specific. We're here now. As long as um, we're not specific about people, we're fine. But anyway. Uh, well, here in Canada Town, USA, Middle Dakota, uh, that's, I'm sticking with it, that's my yeah, story. Yeah. Um, and, uh, when I went there, though, like, after a half hour, I re realized she wasn't coming, but beforehand, mm -hmm. I'd ordered, like, oh, I'll get a glass of grapefruit juice, I've, I've never yeah. tried that, and it was five fruit juice? Yeah. Like, <laughs> oh, this is a great that. idea, trying something new on a date. <laughs> Oh, well, it's just juice. Have you ever tried? Have you ever but like, isn't that like? Fruit? Oh, it's so gross. But it's so is the juice. Oh. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking you meant like grape juice, and I'm like, are you kidding me? You've never had like grape juice, but grapefruit juice. Yeah. I'm just like, hey, I'm Jonathan. Your whole mouth's purple. Yeah. <laughs> Hi. So what's up? <laughs> like throwing them in your mouth like candy. Um, just like brushing off the hands, like. So here's the thing. They give me a uh, like a small wine glass mm. of juice for five bucks. Yeah. Oh, right. Okay. Off so it's not a sample situation. You oh no, it. no. It was it was like not that big at all. And I was just like, oh, okay. And then uh, the date didn't show up. And one of my comfort foods, because my favorite food of all time is the chicken Caesar salad. That is oh, my favorite thing of all time. I'm gonna order that next time. <laughs> yeah, shut up. It's my story. Uh, <laughs> my favorite food. <laughs> I'm hosting. Uh, <laughs> That doesn't mean I can't be rude to you. If anything, you have to kiss my ass. Um, oh, that would take me all day. But <laughs> <laughs> I swear, I'm a hour. Sorry. <laughs> Anyways, chicken soup salad. Yes. 
You need a sound right now. <laughs> um, anyway, so I my favorite food is chicken Caesar salad. So I ordered Caesar salad and asked, you know, can I get like chicken on it and everything? Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, when when you go to a restaurant, how much do you think the average restaurant will charge to add chicken to a Caesar? Probably three, four bucks. Yeah. Um, minimum. Anyways. Minimum. Yeah. Yeah. Minimum. Yeah. I I would go like what what are your I'd say probably around five. I've seen six in some places. I'd, go somewhere I'd say there. four, five is pushing it. For just chicken? Just the chicken breast. On, yeah. on the just, Caesar. On like just cook chicken, place chicken on salad. Five bucks, please. Pretty well, um, yeah. So yeah, actually, yeah. I I, uh, I want to get Will's guess on that. Oh, uh, I always thought that it just should be like included, like having a Caesar and then like they should be separate distinguished prices. Like yeah. I... I, I I get the ad art, I guess, but um, I, I've only ever had a chicken Caesar salad once it was at McDonald's. Uh, and, I mean, at home doesn't care. Those ones actually Making are those were, tasty. They don't sell them anymore. Yeah. Fuck. Why I'm not? I'm so upset. I don't know. Why not? I don't know, but they have yeah, room on the menu. Or they stopped using chicken. I used to go like, there and get a <laughs> Caesar salad, and I was shocked by how good mm. McDonald's had a Caesar salad. But anyway, so... So the average price, I would uh, agree, is somewhere between uh, three and six. Okay. Yeah. Um, actually, I'd say more four and six. Inflation. Um, but <laughs> inflation. But so the, to add chicken to this Caesar was ten fucking dollars. Holy shit! What? And oh. the Caesar itself was fifteen dollars. And this is like a coffee place. Sort yeah, of thing? yeah. And so what what bothered me though is they didn't show how much adding chicken to the order would cost. Yeah. So what they must have done was oh. like, oh, here's the regular chicken price, let's just throw it onto the, the salad. And it was it was small. Yeah. It was very clearly a small oh. thing. And so um this is so the date is story. didn't oh show up <laughs> and then I'm I'm sitting there uh, and I eat the salad I'm like this is the shockingly the best fucking Caesar salad I've ever eaten yeah and uh, and then I, I get the bill and uh, the bill comes in and it's like 32 bucks yeah with the drink and everything and, I, and I'm like oh I have 29 Mm -hmm. And so I had to call my mom and ask her, <laughs> her to send me a bit of money uh, uh, no. because of what happened. Yeah. Um, and like I, and it was even more embarrassing. So now I'm waiting for money to come to It'll pay. Just be a minute. Yeah, yeah. Like this is how poor I am, guys. <laughs> we, I'm not. This I'm not okay. Friday. This is Friday. That, yeah. <laughs> but anyway. But you went like, so you picked, it was nice of you to pick like a fancy place for this person. Well, wasn't, I didn't even think it was that fancy. I didn't think it was going to be fancy yeah. either. Yeah. But I, yeah. apparently it was. Yeah. Yeah. And here, like, just, just the fact that I'm like, the waiter comes up and like, or the waitress comes up and I'm like, yeah, um, I'm, I'm just, I had to ask. For help with money, because uh, mm -hmm. okay, I'm a little short. So like, oh, do you want me to give me time? No, I I, I got the money now. Yeah, let's mm -hmm. do it. And like, so I because uh, I had part of it in cash and everything, yeah. so I, I paid <clears throat> uh, part of it with uh, debit, and then I put the and I gave her a ten, and then she's like. Okay, thank you. And she just took the ten without me yeah, saying that, that it was a tip. Didn't that happen to yeah. us somewhere? Getting off topic, but no, no, we went on a date. No, that happened to me at fucking Timmy's. Yeah, I gave the dude. I owed him thirteen bucks. I gave him twenty two, or I twenty three. Mm -hmm. uh, he gave me back five bucks, and I was like, and I was like, wait, this doesn't seem right. And I was fucking rushed as you always are. Yeah, sorry, I'm swearing. <clears throat> And I was effing rushed, like I always was. Uh, or sorry, let's try that again. <laughs> and, uh, Take three. Yes, this will be cut out because YouTube will. <laughs> if we swear, mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> only if only in the first thirty seconds. Yeah. Well, so I've heard. So yeah, no one knows. <laughs> and, and if you can prove it to me, please do. Anyways, uh, uh, so and I was rushed, like I always am. Uh, in the Timmy's line because you have people behind you. Mm -hmm. uh, so I was like, okay. I was like, that doesn't seem quite right. And then I was like, no, no. And he's like, no, you gave me this. I gave, it was 13. 
here's seven bucks. And I was like, okay, yeah, sure. I was like, that, okay, whatever. No, he'd taken the rest from the 20 to the 23 that I wanted to give because I had it for a 10, tender. Uh, he, uh, he took it as like a tip. Yeah. And I was like, at Tim Hortons. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, these guys, these guys. <laughs> I, I, we're Christopher Walken? Yeah, yeah it's, it's wacky. These guys, it's wacky. Wow. Uh, don't you feel this, like, this I don't know if it's our generation <laughs> or... Or generations that are, or restaurants that are made to appeal to us, but it's like, everything's like hipper now, and like has the sheen of like, looking more expensive, but it's actually like, cheaper and the food is more expensive. I, yeah, yeah, I yeah. think it's, I think it's funny that you say that, because I'm pretty sure the three of us are in the same generation. I think you are actually in a younger generation. Oh, yeah, uh, <laughs> no, I don't, I mean, I, I was yes. born in 93. I was born in 89. Oh, okay, were you born in it? I mean, technically, they describe it as like 80 to 96, now, which I'm, is too old. Okay. No, no, which that is yeah. accurate. Yeah, if, yeah. If I'm leaving high school and you're coming into high school, are we in a different generation? Well, yeah, that's the that's the thing, is that it's So like, I thought I thought you were... No, yeah, you're you're society. no, because you're sort of right, because they say this thing now, there's like a generation, they call it like the in-betweeners of like... Uh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, literally gen, that show. I'm the Gen XYZ or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but they call them like Zillennials, because they were people who were like born... Because like Gen X, <laughs> Millennials, like, uh, but with a Z, you know, because... I like, thought, oh, yeah, I thought that. that. Okay, because you guys... <laughs> you guys seemed a little bit this confused. I mean, it, we, yeah. It's a whole complicated thing about tips earlier, but basically, people <laughs> um, born, like, in the mid-90s, yeah. in the cutoff between Gen Y and Gen Z, yeah. uh, and they kind of don't fit in. I have to say, like, I have older brothers. I even have a brother who's, like, a year and a half older than yeah. me, and we know the same stuff, yeah, exactly. but it's just kind of like our, I don't feel, like, super connected to him, and I definitely don't feel super connected to my oldest brother generationally because he's born in, like, 87. It's, like, whoever's at home making these, like, this generation yeah. is this and that. It's we doing a, a new good, generation. Well, it's doing a wrong job. So, I actually know a lot but I don't, about this. Because I <laughs> think generation. of you, it's so weird, because I think of you as, like, the same age or younger than me. Yeah. Well, before um, before we get into generational <laughs> <laughs> discussions, Megan, you have yet to tell us your worst date. Yeah. You haven't said your worst date Can, yet. It's because uh, it's the I same date. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Can I just add one last thing sure, to my sure. date story? Yeah. So I did legitimately uh, tell her before I ordered the Caesar that I got stood up. Because mm -hmm. I was expecting, because I've seen in movies so often, yeah. that she'd be like, no, no, the drink's on me. Yeah. The, you know, type of thing. <laughs> yeah. and Give me that. Give him some pride. So I remember yeah. telling my mom afterwards, like, because I was explaining to her why I needed to borrow the money mm -hmm. and everything like that. And my mom just laughed at me. And the mm -hmm. whole story, because even though it was sad, it was almost kind of funny, the fact that I actually went, yeah, no, I was, I was, I was stood up to this person, mm -hmm. expecting that they'd be like, hey. That they would care. So okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, and then, and then afterwards, I'm getting, after being stood up, I'm stuck in the restaurant, mm -hmm. low on funds, yeah. <laughs> having to call my that's, mom. That's brutal. That's yeah. awful. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's a perfect comically depressing mm -hmm. anecdote for a podcast, though. Uh, <laughs> for me. How, but you have to, because you have to ask, like, at, what have we gotten to as a point in society where it's just so acceptably easy for, like, to go through the trouble of, like, playing somebody along on a date and then, like, standing them up and then deleting them and then, like, yeah. never having any con Like, it would be something if you were it able just, to, like... It would be nice if did you, you just said, hey, yeah. I'm not showing up. Or, 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 or so even, like, like it yeah, up. it's... I, I guess you can't really do that. Can you really uh, do that when you match with somebody and call it off before the date? I mean, yeah. you can. It's a dude. But do, who but, does? But yeah. yeah, yeah. But that would be preferable to like it just stand yeah, somebody because no, it's worse to stand somebody up. Just yeah. Coming out and saying, "Hey, you know, I'm not really feeling this," is a hell of a lot better than just yeah. ghosting and standing people up. Just say, "JK, I have diarrhea." Ghost. Yeah, yeah. Well, even yeah. I'd be so, like, ah, shit. so I'm not Zuck. showing up and. <laughs> this be, yeah, no. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know where you were going with that. And I'm eating the stove. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think I'm eating? I think that there was, there was an E. coli breakout with the salad, and, and that explains the bathroom. May, stuff may I just say, you you made a 
I love the way you describe things because you you said that is a depressingly sad anecdote. Like you're just really yeah. wailing it to me, and it's perfect for a podcast. It is. Let's move on. Like you're sad. I'm like, oh, okay, and that killed me. Because <laughs> because like my like uh, the date that I had recently was basically like. Oh, this is going fine, but it's a bit boring. Yeah. And then, and then I'm, and then I just ask them, I'm like, hey, want to go out for drinks? Uh, and then they're like, yeah, I don't feel there was a connection. I'm just kind of like, okay, great. <laughs> yeah. Like, could have like the match. We could have settled this. Like, it could have been like afternoon tea or something. But it's like, oh no. She was like, I want to get drinks, and I'm like, okay. Yeah. And then it's like, okay, let's go here. And then we meet up to go there. Uh, at her place, and then she just wanders over to like a different building, and then I'm like, okay, I guess we're we're drinking here now. Yeah. Uh, and and then so so we. Wait, are you that. drinking in alleyways with Leatherwell? Yeah. Okay. Uh, that's a that's illegal. I would never do something illegal. We famously know I'm just a a legal stinkler. He, he I, infamously finds ladies of the night in the alleyways, <laughs> <laughs> and that is legal. <laughs> There, there's a and whole that's weird so thing weird. That, that's yeah. so weird that that's legal. Isn't it like legal, but like it's illegal to be it's a illegal guy? It's to pay for it. No, so it's legal to pay for it, but it's illegal no, to ask. It's the, it? it's the reverse. So it's, oh, okay. it's, <laughs> it's legal for, for uh, sex work is, is legal, legal. Yeah. but it's illegal to uh, pay for it. Okay. So it's got to be free. Yeah, well, <laughs> that's free. So it's, it's like free the it, price. Yeah, the the only I guess if I so it's like an add-on bonus. Free if <laughs> if I list that. something on Facebook Marketplace as free, technically that's in the price. <laughs> they say price, please, and I say it's free. It's like yeah. me trying to sell those tables at your old place. Yeah, oh, Christ. I, I, I did I tell that story. Okay. Before. Well, here, hold on. So, it's not a dating story, but it's really good. Okay, so but it is a story about the economic marketplace that we are in right now. So I Let's go, not go far into the economic part. Just yeah. go into the story. So <laughs> I was drinking Murph has a neighbor. That's why my water's here now. Uh, yes. I had a neighbor. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and I mean, you still do, I but still it's do. a different guy now. It's, it's true. <laughs> it's it's that's, not the that's same. Crazy. Crazy. Yeah. So uh, we, I visit your place for a podcast recording that we're yeah. doing, or we're doing a sketch. Um, on our YouTube channel, which yeah. is so successful. So successful, we yeah. love it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, um, we are successful. Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, so, <laughs> anyways, uh, that's a good screenshot. Yeah. That's a perfect <laughs> screenshot, I would agree. So, I see these tables across from uh, your house, and the neighbor comes out and he's like, Yeah. In the ditch, in the ditch. Yeah, and he's like, Yeah, I'm trying to sell them, and, you know, I, I look it up on Facebook Market. Place uh, and and there's nothing there and he's like yeah I've been meaning to put it up on Facebook Marketplace and and he hasn't I'm like oh it's just it's so easy boom let me take the photo and I, I in, got that for you in my greed of helping somebody yeah. um, put it up on there and I asked him like is this okay and he's like yeah sure whatever yeah, you're doing uh, favor, so yeah. I put it up I get you know I'm very particular about the photos I take this nice angle of that so I, I, I watched you taking yeah pictures. it took it, it took a good thirty seconds to a minute because you pulled up and before you even came into the house um, I seen you talking to him because he was outside right yeah and then the whole led to that and then you're taking pictures and I was like well the fuck are you doing out yeah. there and I'm like a uh, photo opportunity yeah, yeah. Hello. Uh, so I take the photo I put it up on Facebook marketplace I put it for free yeah uh, and then I put the address and everything within 30 seconds yeah somebody comes up and takes uh, one just, table just one yeah. one table and then they kind of look at their hatchback as if they're discovering like a new space <laughs> and they're, uh, they're kind of like oh uh, I I don't have enough room. And here I'm thinking, like, okay, he'll get it and come back for it. No. He takes one end table. Who takes just one end table? Because yeah. they're meant for, like, okay. yeah, yeah. So they, take, <laughs> so they take one end table, and they never come back. Yeah. For it. And the rest of the day, Will's like, what are, what's going to happen to the other end table? Yeah. Like, he's like, I'm concerned. Like, he texted me before. It's I so lonely. Yeah, I went to, I went, we were going to bed, and he's like, hey, Murph, is that other end table still out there? And I was like, yeah. It's like, you're more yeah. concerned about that yeah. than the podcast you came to. <laughs> hey, he wants that table gone. 
So I appreciate it. So I so I end up getting like slapped on the wrist on Facebook for yeah. false advertising yeah. because somebody took the first table right away and didn't take the second. So it's seen as like false advertising, and I get a, a strike on my Facebook oh, really? account. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, you know how many people I've I've reported in my sitting on the toilet? Like, that's not the size of a monster or whatever. I don't know. Okay, so, so I didn't end up like, getting, uh, thankfully, my Facebook career was, was so <laughs> sick. Yeah, yeah, I didn't yeah. get slapped on, on the wrist, but that's just kind of like, you put something up so easily digitally now, and things can like pretty much get out of your control just by somebody rating it or responding differently yeah. through no fault of your own. Yeah. So what were you going to say, Maggie? <laughs> uh, just to latch on to the Facebook marketplace and how it's just a hot mess. <laughs> There it's was, much like Facebook dating. I remember my my mother years ago. She was trying to sell just like a stainless steel table. Yeah. And she was not able to. They re, they would not allow her to post it. Wow. And then maybe a few months ago, I saw this guy. It was it was posting kind of more like an ad. Yeah. And he was trying to sell women's bras. <laughs> and the ad said, "Send me a picture of your." Breasts. <laughs> I feel like I've seen that. I probably showed it to yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. It said. Send me a picture of your breasts and I will match the size of the bras that I have and send it to you. And I'm like, how is how, how is that, that how is that allowed out there? And then yeah, that's like literally like you'll report them for I don't know, soliciting. Lo yeah. 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 Uh, so what? I just want to remind people that the topic was dating. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, <laughs> so I this guess, is what, uh, but this is what no, dating I had, is like. I had a good segue there. So, I was gonna make, so anyways, that was me. That's how I met Megan. This yeah, is yeah, what yeah, dating is yeah. like. You send these <laughs> pictures of your breasts <laughs> and then... You would too. No, so, <laughs> so I would really like to... Uh, uh, doing shit yes. like that. Before we continue, I would really like to put out the image of, like, Will Austin Power photo shooting this cat, these end tables. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> We did. Oh, give it to me, baby! You're give it to me! You're a tiger. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm sent. <laughs> yeah, <it's> sent. <laughs> well, it was, oh, it was very difficult, mind you. <laughs> just because... <laughs> it, they because just they couldn't get the right pose. I don't know, the first guy didn't understand who picked them up, but there were actually two tables. Yeah. And I it was hard to fit them yeah. into the frame. I see you, like, going, like, angling so that the camera was, like, Close to here, so it like showed like low like, angle. Yeah, low angle, like the. the, <laughs> the, the, the but table. it was literally like that because I'm like, oh, they, oh, here's a here's a blemish. I I want that to be to be covered, so I'll do this angle. Oh, if I go to this angle, then the light is different, and yeah. it's just like it's literally I somebody's end table that table. you saw five minutes ago. Well, I appreciate your attention to detail, Will. Yeah. So. Oh, going back, let's go back to the dating. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna long. ask Megan for her dating story, which you haven't said yours. I have a great one. He's holding it. Involves back. drinking and plates, so that'll that'll be my little oh, marker. That's, your one that's right. a good one, eh? She's already um, so Thank you. <laughs> Write that. Write this down. Uh, so my first one. It was the very first date I went on in, K in Kingston. In Kingston. Once I ended my relationship, did the whole Tinder nonsense. So it was my very first How one. How long was that? <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. How long was what? The, you're like, I did the whole Tinder nonsense. So Sounds... I met you. Yeah, nice. Mm -hmm. The love of her That's life. unfortunate. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, the lead up to the first date was a lot. He wanted to take me to like, uh, possibly sandbanks, like a private beach. Yeah. <laughs> like, uh, just the two of us, a whole day by ourselves, wow. just kind of. Sounds nice, but I don't know if I want to. I'm like, go to and this is a first date. This, yeah. this was the just the talk of the first date. What wow. he was thinking. And I'm this like, that's so you get in a like, bit much. So yeah. you like get in the car with him, and then he brings that up as an idea, or did he bring that up? In no, while text? we were while Texting. we were messaging, he yeah. brought this up. He's like, this is what I was thinking. And I'm like, well, it sounds great for like maybe like a. Fourth, fifth, yeah. Yeah. So I know you're not a serial killer. Exactly. Don't take me to a private beach. Um. So I shut it down super quick, and we ended up just going to just a local bar down down downtown. Yeah. Just had a few drinks and whatever, and that was also very weird. He was very much into the aliens, build all the pyramids, the all the architecture, all the architecture in downtown Kingston was all built by aliens, and just. Just 
How old was this guy? Just, <laughs> Did he have the Hershey's kiss on his head? I'm just wondering if he's the same so, guy who says aliens all the time from ancient aliens. Oh, well, that's it's not him, no. Okay, okay. Uh, he was he was maybe six years older than me at the okay. time. Yeah. Not, not crazy, crazy, but... Mm-hmm. Woo! We mean hey, you're you're oh, anybody the only one years. I've ever dated that has been exact same age. Alola, yeah. I am not the same age as you, thank you. I am three weeks older than you. And don't forget it. Anyway, okay. so that was that was. Uh, we have a <laughs> Get Keys to s- help. Keys to success. Yeah. Wait twice. Wait twice. Wait twice. Wait twice if you're okay. What did you do? What did you say? I said you're the worst human. I'm the best human. Thank you. <laughs> anyway, that. Human. That was probably my. Jokes on you. He was, alien. He was okay enough guy. He was just not not playing with the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that was just like, that was just a random Tinder match, basically, right? Well, yeah. yeah, yeah. Are we talking yeah. like a Yu Gi Oh deck or like a deck of cards? A brain deck. <laughs> Dude, what's a brain deck? It was no it's Exodia, a, I promise. Like a you. brain deck? Uh, it, it was like a tape deck? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Take up. What was the joke I said to you last night? I, I was like, know. I was like, if you don't know Yu-Gi-Oh, you got a Yu-Gi-Oh. That's true. That's what you said. <laughs> <laughs> the the and then I scooted. Yeah. I was like, hey, the, bye. The yeah. unimpressedness yeah. of how you said that. Yes, that is what you said. <laughs> At the time, it fucking killed me. But yeah. <laughs> she laughed. I was there. I, I so we're it. separated now. Now we sleep in separate beds because of the Yu-Gi-Oh. Oh, God. Yeah. Uh, we don't have to, we don't Yu-Gi-Oh have to is the source of all conflict. Yu-Gi-Oh is Yu-Gi-Oh the, is the is source the of abuse. So your plate story. <clears throat> so my plate story. Uh, uh, Miss drinks Megan. and plates. Drinks and plates. Thank you. I want to comment on Miss Megan's story real quick. So who built? Kingston downtown if it wasn't built by aliens, Megan. No, it was built by aliens. But if it was not built there by aliens. There is no other answer. It was <laughs> aliens. <laughs> That's what she took from this. <laughs> this was the fact. truth. It's she fact. just didn't want to hear it. <laughs> <laughs> right. That's why he, that, like the entire date was almost him trying to sell me on that stuff. Yeah, yeah. And like it was, there was a lot of spirituality behind, which I'm all for. I'm, I'm okay with that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But it was, it was. It was too much. Man, that, they literally have that conversation in dinner with yeah. Andre. It was too you much. You watch that movie. Yeah, yeah, no, you okay. want you want to get them in bed before you get them to I, uh, conspiracies. Sure. You gotta watch that movie. <laughs> sure. Yeah. I guess. Be, <laughs> that, and that, it was like a hit video that I that I put on on YouTube, but yeah. it's like the guy talks about like traveling and the Incans and stuff like that, and he talks about like the Indians believing in uh, UFOs and like stuff like that. Yeah. But to transplant that like <laughs> out of the Amazon and then say downtown Kingston, downtown Kingston, which has a pretty established history, was built by aliens. Like, uh, what did this guy do for a living? Do you do you, yeah. you know or? Because I'm always I curious. Say he what he was like? currently unemployed at that time. Oh, then. Yeah. I mean, yeah. that would make the most sense now, wouldn't it? And maybe living with his parents as well? Mm-hmm. That's mm-hmm. good. That's good. Hey, that's a, that's a and thing. And he had a son, which he didn't tell me about beforehand. Oh, yeah? Oh, wow. But he also... He probably believed the son was an alien. In the same conversation, <laughs> so he, didn't count. he lied yeah. about the son's age twice. Yeah. I'm like, yay. So that's uh, that, that's the big that's the big one for me. When you lie about like somebody that you conceived yeah. as to uh, not having existed, that's kind of like a <laughs> that just that's just well, where I draw. That's the quite line. a big sin of omission. Well, and I called them out. Was this too. yours? I was like, Why no, didn't no, you uh, mention to me you had a son? Like, no, I didn't think it was important. Yeah, yeah, it's important. So it's like by then it was clear that you had different priorities. Yeah, yeah, there's. Yeah. The words you use yeah, make like, it so much Yeah. So he he <laughs> hid the fact that he had conceived a person <laughs> like, <laughs> like 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 it was like it was a plan. Yeah. Like yeah, he yeah. I'm he conceived sure a plan. <laughs> so I'm, 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 a, I'm a storyteller at heart. Yes. Try that's to why we love you. Uh, that's why we're all poets. Okay. So, so drink and drink. Plates, 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 plates. <clears throat> so I went to this uh, place. It's called Red House in Kingston, which I yeah. love. We, we used to go there all the time. The we, downtown location or the west? Uh, one? The downtown one, yeah. not the not that west one. Who the west? west ones out of here? Yeah, um, yeah. Uh, uh, the west yeah. was the one. <laughs> Rabble. Uh, so, anyways, uh, I went on this date, and it seemed fine. Um, uh, she was she's a nice brown haired girl, short. I like brown haired girls, as Megan knows. Uh, Why? Because she's brown hair. <laughs> Why? Oh, oh, right, <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. Uh, so, anyways, we go to this date. We're talking on Tinder, wherever the f we were talking, mm-hmm. and uh, 
We get to the, the bar. She's hammered. No, sorry. I pick her up at home. She's hammered drunk. And I was like, uh, I didn't realize how drunk she was at the time uh, when I uh, picked her up. But she's like, here, have a beer. I was like, okay, cool. So we get to the bar, and I was like, oh, wait. I was like, she's kind of drunk. And then we get to the bar, and we're enjoying our meal and all this good stuff. And I can tell she's pretty intoxicated. And I was like, you good? Like, you, you, you sure you want to be here? And she's like, yeah, yeah, I'm fine. And I was like, okay. Uh, so we're drinking and carrying on. That was when I still smoked. Uh, and so we go outside for a smoke and we come back in and this is where the best part happens. Uh, we have already eaten our food or like some of our food is left over. We have our drinks and like we're sitting like this and uh, she sits where I was sitting and I, I guess sit where she is sitting because she's in my spot. So, I, so I'm like, okay, cool. Uh, I sit on the opposite side of the table and she doesn't fucking notice. Uh, so I'm like, uh, I take my food and her food and I'm like, and then I take my drink and her drink and I'm like, and so just continue so to the food was already ordered and she comes back down and sits at another and my, No, and oh, that would have been the best. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be like, honey, honey, we're over here. <laughs> uh, no, she sat on my side of the table. So like, I mean, it seems like a big deal to me when you sit on the, it's like sitting, it's like, it's but like, how can she tell is my question. Because my food is here and my drink. So the food, yeah, yeah. no, yeah, but the food yeah. was, up, but the food was the food already was, there. Uh, the food was already there. There you go. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah and, she was uh, just too hammered to. Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 Just, just obliterated. Yeah. yeah. And uh, she didn't, she didn't notice. That's what you say. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I, it's like, uh, I'll tell you another story. <laughs> uh, but it doesn't really But happen. I want to know how that date ends. Though. Uh, so I drove her home and I was like, Pat on the ass. See you later. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I helped her get up her flight of stairs to her house, and then I was like, goodbye, closed door, go home. And then I went to Poet. Did you both take doggy bags, or like just take take them home with you? Or was <laughs> the was the food left? Because I don't know. The the food at Red House I hear is good. I was probably like, here, eat this. What? <laughs> yeah. Eat this. You did this more than I do. Yeah. Uh, then and then it was called. Oh, I actually I remember that when I got into my car, I looked up at her apartment and she was smoking weed on her balcony. And I was like, give it a rest, girl. And so I guess I guess I should say the latter part of the date, all she did was talk about her ex and how her ex had like traumatized her by being yeah, such a fly. liar. Yeah, or some, some, some that some, is the so number one. It kind of, the, the date deteriorated from there. Yeah, and no, we were on opposite sides of the table. <laughs> is there a good way to talk about that? <laughs> but I, that was the final straw. I should have just spun the table real quick. <laughs> Murph, is there, or Megan, or this is for the whole table, is there a good way to talk about an ex on your first date? No. Because for me, it's I, like... I feel like I talk about my exes a lot. Would you say I do, Megan? I would say you do. Yes. I, 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 I talk about it, though, yeah, in, relation, <laughs> in relation to things like... I'll be like, it's it's me telling a story of my life. You know, I'm sharing something. I'll be like, oh yeah, this was shitty. My ex used to do this kind of stuff, uh, but I I relate it to the thing we're doing. Like, yeah, and I I the way I would look at it is, is it, it, hold on, hold on. You 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 give you're giving me like a disapproval here. Do you do you do you accept? I no, I understand what you're saying. Let's debate. I yeah. understand why you're doing it. And yeah, I like I get it. Just. Sometimes the X doesn't need to be a factor of it whatsoever. Yeah, see, I, and I, I, and I mean, I, I like to refer to the stories because they're like placeholders in my head, but I don't even use, like, the connotation of it being an X just doesn't register with me, so that's where we differ on that. So the way that you're looking at it is, just a this, person. this is a part of my history, yes. it's important to let me share, and the way that you're kind of looking at it is is basically like, well this is kind of a reflection on you as a first impression of like, because uh, that's, 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 that's where I'm coming from anyways, but so this I is think, why I like this podcast, because we um, have different So opinions. when I was with my ex, I was with my ex for eight years, Yeah. Mm -hmm. and I, every time I would mention a boyfriend before him, he just lost his well, mind. Well, that's, I was going to say, that's fucking but insecurity. His, it is, yes, but his, when I finally asked him about it, his logic was, because if you're thinking about your, if you're talking about your ex, that means you're still thinking about them. Mm. So I kind of understand. I mean, I that guess, but like yeah. when I talk about world of oh, Warcraft, so it's like getting over it. That actually just sounds like an excuse for 
for abuse. Yeah. That, that, it, that yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. What yeah. yeah. What do you mean, like, the date is being abusive by saying you can't talk about your ex in front of me? I would say yes. No, no, the, the relationship mm-hmm. scenario. Possibly. That, that's, so that's my aspect of you doing it. That's yeah. where that comes yeah. from. And that's where, the, the, diff- that's where the negative connotations come from our, our lives, right? Mm-hmm. We, we live our lives. Uh, because, for example, if I talked about World of Warcraft, mm-hmm. my, uh, war- sorry, more specifically World of Warcraft Classic, me and my ex played that from like it's nine to five. Yeah, <laughs> that's all we did. Mm-hmm. Uh, but no, but we played that game. So would I want to play it with Megan? Uh, well, I don't want to play it at all. Mm-hmm. But uh, I hear an expansion was just announced. Uh, probably. It's, it's, <laughs> Thank you. Sorry, for that. <laughs> sorry. Plug. I'm sorry. I forgot your dramatic <laughs> story. Dramatic story. <laughs> um, <laughs> So I would I would argue that uh, it depends on how uh, resolved that relationship was yeah. because if you if you go in like still holding like really high emotional problems with it and you bring it up towards those memories yeah. there you're mm-hmm. going to probably go off on it but if you're like if it's resolved and it's just a quick like yeah. Oh yeah, and Nax who did that, and then you just move on. Yeah. Then it's more or less just saying you've interacted with that sort of circumstance. Yeah. And I, I know saw, that's what it is for you. Yeah. Like, I'm know just saying you're not. this person was a piece of shit. Yeah. So no, I'm hey, not. I'm not happened. accusing you. No, of no, I know you're not. My 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 well, girl, my girl, you're the best. Mm-hmm. Wow, we're doing couples therapy. Yeah. Yeah. So how does that make you feel? We're gonna be really pissed if this is the most successful episode of the podcast. Real quick, I'll tell you a real quick story. Yeah. Uh, so I was in my old car, my Honda Element. I love that car. Uh, it is my baby. I wish that it was still is that alive. Uh, Murphy's is <laughs> crazy. <laughs> yeah. uh, and. Uh, I had been moving or something. Uh, me and my ex were fighting. This was a few exes ago, and uh, I was eating McDonald's. So I put it in the passenger where the passenger feet go. That spot. Mm-hmm. And uh, <laughs> that's the one. And uh, so we're going to the home, well. home Hardware, Home Depot, which is like a hardware store in Canada. And, uh, and we're getting know. out, uh, going to inside the store. So I grab a bunch of garbage that. My, my little hands can hold, go up to the door, we're both going in, toss it out, go into the store, do our thing, come back out, I get into the car, she gets into the car, all I hear is like, and I'm, and I'm like, I look down, and there's a fucking ton of garbage at her feet. And I was like, you didn't think about bringing that in when we got here, like I did? You seen, I brought in garbage? And she's like, oh, I didn't notice it. And I'm like, that's so much worse. <laughs> yeah. Wow. <laughs> I spattered all of it. <laughs> so yeah, she brought I, in gar- I felt it. Good. So but she then, brought in garbage to your car? Or? No, no, no. She just didn't notice the garbage on the floor of the car that she is standing in. You know what I mean? Like, those are, that That wasn't a, that would be bad day ding, not a bad date. I mean, so you want to argue that you could have just asked. I, I, I could have asked, but I mean, like, it's kind of like, hey, there's garbage at your feet. Your other is working, grabbing like, okay, here, let's get all the garbage, and uh, you're like, yeah, there you go, <laughs> roll in with them, yeah. you know. And, so, I mean, I guess it could be said both ways. That's yeah. just my little story, real quick. No, because yeah. I, I, I was just curious. So it was like a garbage in, in your car, and you, like. Did she sit on anything important, or she, no, she just what she wasn't helping you move the garbage crap. out of your yeah, car? Yeah, it was just crap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. crap yeah. in this car. And then, yeah. and then I was like, oh, could you have gave me a hand, maybe? And she's like, oh, I didn't notice it was there. And I was like, what? Mm-hmm. I was like, that's so much worse. We yeah, it took see, us an hour to get here. That 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 lie is a lie because it's not it's not that it's it the the time frame of the mm-hmm. ride was important. It's the fact that every time you enter a car. You have to drop your head. Yeah, and look, and, and, and look. you're so you're looking yeah. in that. Unless you spot. get out of cars, like. <laughs> <laughs> you think that maybe she just didn't want I mean, to help move, have. <laughs> help move <laughs> garbage out of your car on the date and kind of didn't know how to express it? Maybe. No, no, sorry, it wasn't a date. This was like a two-year relationship. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. okay. <laughs> wait, wait. In my I was, head, I was, I was still in like, first date mode. I'm I was like, like, whoa. Yeah, no, I wasn't like, hey, you want to go to Home Depot? <laughs> go to Home Depot. <laughs> Which I went to Walmart on a first date. Yeah, yeah, I was gonna say that probably a 
dope first date. <laughs> yeah. Was it a dope first date? Is that a good first date location? No. Okay. This, uh... Will, don't listen. Well, I, I just need ideas, guys. <laughs> I need ideas. I'm single. I'll work with whatever. Yeah. Hear just that, hear that, ladies? He's single. Just, yeah. just a yeah. simple sit-down place where you can chat. That's yeah. the best... That's mm -hmm. the best option. Yeah. I, I would say. Yeah, I'd say, like, even going for drives, but, like... Or you just a walk. Oh, yeah, yeah. stroll. Yeah, walks are nice, yes. Brisk stroll on the on the shoreline of Kingston. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> yes, the shoreline. Do you, uh, I'm just checking the time, see how much we have left. Yeah, how much we got. Yeah. Uh, we're, oh. we have about 22 minutes. Um, so far? Uh, to get to the hour. We have we're okay. 22 minutes to the hour. Cool. So I was just going to ask, uh, does anybody want to counter with, like, a good first Ooh. date story? Like, their favorite yeah. first date? Like, yeah, yeah either or. You also or go I could for, say. like, dating faux pas and, like, green flags. Yeah, do you guys want to stick with the faux pas or go to positive? Because it's yes. more consistent if we stick with the faux pas, but we can also end on a positive note. Take it's a still vote. positive stuff. Positive? Positive? Yeah, oh yeah, I'm not with po Okay, yeah. yeah. Fucking whatever. We'll do. We'll do all of it. Uh, what do you? Po yeah. Okay. So uh, positive. That, sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So did you want to do faux pas first or? or no, it's whatever. It's whatever okay. you go. So we do positive and with the faux pas is kind of like tips and tricks kind of thing. I'm trying to yeah. think of like a positive. Because my first like uh, a date. Well, it's it was it wasn't really uh, a date. Like it wasn't planned that way. It was just like me and a friend. Yeah. And like uh, I I met up with them. And we were both happened to be in the university cafeteria, nice. and uh, we're we're just kind of chatting, and we don't know each other well, uh, but we just like okay, I guess I'll sit with you. It's like the cafe is deserted, and we just talk, and it's like anytime you go into a cafeteria, it's all, always busy. But they have a twenty four seven cafeteria basically, or yeah. at that point it was yeah. like until midnight or something. So it's just us two silently in a cafeteria. That's which, dope. It, yeah, and it could be go wrong, right? If you don't yeah. have much to talk about yeah. or, or something like that, or one person's carrying the conversation. Not at all. We have a nice long chat. We then like, oh, the cafeteria is closed. We go down to like the main atrium and just kind of watch the lights and that kind of thing. And then the janitor comes, tells us so, like that's closed. So it's like we walk along. Uh, sort of uh, the Rideau Canal, like just up and down one oh, nice. way, and then uh, we make our way just to like Parliament Hill. Yeah. Um, and uh, we hadn't really like been to Parliament Hill yet. This is like way back in first year at the yeah. University of Ottawa. But like it was just like a nice full get to know you thing. And then we were it was so long and ended with like McDonald's uh, later on, and then that, and then I, and then yeah. I walked her home. But it was just kind of like that set. Yeah. Like the standard of like, oh, can't all dates be this good? Yeah. And then you meet these people, like you mentioned the garbage story, yeah. or you mentioned the alien story of like, these people are kind of like on another planet. You can't communicate it's, with them. It's crazy. Well, no, that, that guy believed that people yeah. from another <laughs> planet came <laughs> here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Well, that's the thing is like, I went on like, I'd say like eight dates in a month or in two months before I met Megan. And, and that was even before I got rid of the dating apps and we had talked and I was like, no. And then I got back into them in January and then you messaged me. And I was like, yeah. Aww. And then, oh, here, here's a good one. Megan told me this the other day. You were catcalling people coming up to your house. <laughs> I was like, thought it was me, yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> She thought it was me, I heard you tell it. So when we were dating, I was living in my apartment and I was on the third floor. And my balcony overlooked the, yeah. like the main entrance to the building. Yeah. So I have my chairs and whatever. Um, without my glasses, I'm very blind. So <laughs> I was. He was coming up. So someone was walking up the pathway to the front door. Who, without my glasses, <laughs> spitting image of him. <laughs> so I, I was. I had had a few drinks before and whatever. And so I started like catcalling over my balcony, just thinking. What were you saying? Like, just cat call and Like, just, hey, good looking. Yeah, hey, nice pants. I yeah. like 308. <laughs> Complimenting them on their features. And then as he got up closer, I could tell that it was not Jonathan. And I was like, oh, yes. And I go, oh. oh, give me a spin. Let so me see that it, ass. Yeah. So, so, did this happen with multiple people, or was just some guy that. It was like, just the one guy. Yeah. Say, and how did you do the first one? She probably yeah, the didn't. The first do it one, again. I was like, yeah. yeah. Yeah, better not try that it's again. Just like, no. So, he, wait. He was looking at me very weird. Yeah. 
Why why I've been because he heard what you had to say. <laughs> He's like, is this happening right now? Yeah. <laughs> so I was like, I'm just here because I have Swiss chalet, like. Yeah. <laughs> but I should bring that up to my room. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so like, when it, there was there why don't you switch any looks, any looks or anything exchanged when you when you got up? To when the he top? got up closer, he was looking at me kind of weird, and I just kind of backed off of my balcony. And it, did you? For him. <laughs> was there anything like, oh, like, did you regress at all, or were you just like, nothing was said? It was just understood that it's like. Yeah. Oh, it was just understood that yeah. I'm just, I'm yeah. just special. Yeah. So you, you just reminded me of uh, this story. It's a little off topic, not not fully, but uh, steal one of these. Go ahead. Sorry, I got the story after. The fuck. Anyway, um, so. <laughs> Uh, at the pizza place I work at, uh, I'm not gonna mention it because it's delicious. Mm -hmm. It is delicious. Don't but don't want uh, everyone to know. And they're hiring. Well, th that and <laughs> like we're yeah yeah I, know. I, I don't want people in the location. But anyway, mm -hmm. um, so uh, one of our drivers talked about the fact that uh, when he was delivering a pizza, he uh, went to the door and a woman answered him or answered the door in just a towel. Nice. And he was like, oh, uh, here's your, like, he's married and everything. So he, so he <laughs> just, he just like, gives her the food and they get the payment and he comes back and he tells the story. I'm like, dude, do you not realize that you just walked into a porno? <laughs> you are in the porn verse. You just, like, <laughs> The porn verse. Yeah, you just walked in. It's like all connected. Yeah, it's in this world where pornos happen. <laughs> so anyway, <laughs> no, but I was, I was curious. Like, was it just he answered the door? Uh, it, he went to the door, and they were in uh, a towel, and that was it. Or was there any hint? Because I've done where the towel uh, stop to circle it a bit on Facebook Marketplace. I dropped a. <laughs> um, I can't remember if I was picking up Drunk or dropping off a <laughs> toy for my nephew. I, w I was picking up, and the girl who was selling it, she just like she had her like shower cap on and and towel. I can't remember oh, if it really? was a towel or or a house coat. Yeah, She's yeah. Like, I just got yeah, a yeah. shower brow. Yeah. I got my cap on. Fuck. <laughs> no, it was it was very ah. clear that the girl was not doing it for any real attention. She it was just she she's just, just really a weird person who. Mm -hmm. Answers doors, answers doors and towels. Like she probably is just that comfortable. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yo, you know how many times? Props to them. Props how many to times them. I answered doors with towel. Fuck. You know how many times I answered the door in a towel? Mm -hmm. So many times. Mm -hmm. So I am one of those guys. Have you ever answered the phone in a towel? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, with my penis. I can't. I can't. <laughs> you, you'll have to speak up. I'm wearing gotta, a towel. We gotta, we gotta swipe Homer it up. You, you know. You're very generous with the sound of that flop. <laughs> you gotta swipe it. Mm -hmm. So I'll tell you the 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 reverse. Murph being a creep. So uh, I was at the playground when I was younger. Uh, wow. I, I okay. Was, See you later, folks. When I, when I was in playground attending age, mm -hmm. and uh, I was like like trying to like meet these girls who were also there, but it was just so weird and awkward, mm -hmm. and they were swinging, and I was like, hey. Like, do you guys want to like hang out sometime? And they're just swinging, and they're just like, leave me alone. And I'm like, ah, oh, okay, this is this is annoying. People people get so afraid of like rejection, but you gotta like shoot your shot, right? So yeah. there's just a little it's baby. A part you gotta put yourself out there. Baby Murph shooting his shot. Mm -hmm. And then the uh, the other one, uh, little baby Murph doesn't even know word yet. Mm -hmm. Fucking the other one. The first word out of Murph's mouth was Murph. Murph. <laughs> 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 I, uh, so there was this, it was in college and I can't remember the story exactly, but it, my buddy, uh, I don't even remember his name to be fair. We, I don't really talk to anyone I went to college with, but mm -hmm. we were talking to this girl and he's like, yeah, she was really cute. And I was like, yeah, well I'm seeing this other girl right now. And he's like, oh, okay. Cause in that case I gave her one of these, like a, Hey. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? What I was like, because they were because they were chatting, but they weren't really chatting. So he like kind of looked over and he's like, hmm. <laughs> me. Like he, you looked he over probably, and made a face. He probably didn't think it looked like that. It probably he was probably like, hey, like 
But but he's like, I don't know, I didn't know what to say to her, so I just gave her one of these. He like, changed his mind hey. halfway there. <laughs> <laughs> and fuck. All I remember is laughing at that story. <laughs> My god. I remember this, uh, okay. one girl, this, I, this is Murph. One girl I went to elementary school and in high school with, she like, ruined this for me where she's like, you ever, uh, like, look at somebody and they look uh, back at you like later like um, like you're looking at me and then I turn like this and then you think to yourself oh no now they're gonna think I've been staring at them forever yeah. and I thought to myself that has never happened to me <laughs> that is so weird and then ever since she said that that happened to me a bunch and I'm like Oh, Darn it! Now you've just you ruined it for me. Inceptioned all the viewers. That <laughs> happens to me so often because with my ADHD, I'll, I'll see a face and I have really good uh, face recognition. Yeah. So I'll see a face and I'm like, oh, do I know that person? And I'll mm -hmm. look at that person for a little bit, or like mm -hmm. they're I think they're they're interesting in some way, and then like I, I keep looking back and I keep looking away because I'm like, ah, no, I can't be staring, but then I keep looking back because I'm ADHD. <laughs> yeah. Same thing with cleavage. Yeah. Well, what else are you going to look at? Cleavage. This is a potential mystery. Like, I don't want to be rude staring at someone's cleavage, but the ADHD no. makes you know. you staring at their face. Yeah. Face <laughs> up here, boys. Mm -hmm. I uh, was curious though uh, about what you were saying because uh, now the cleavage thing. I'm sorry, just totally threw me. <laughs> now off. we gotta talk about uh, cleavage. Uh, about the about the story. This is gonna be about Booba. <laughs> so, uh, you didn't say that. You didn't say uh, can't make this about Booba. Yep. Yeah, cleavage is a really good skill in D and D. <laughs> it is actually. <laughs> is that it's like a thing between now. rocks or what is that? No, it's it's when uh, you kill one enemy, you, you can kill the next. <laughs> Like with, with, with a cleaver, it's just a great time. Yeah, <laughs> it could be a cleaver, it could be a sword, could be a could cleavage. be a giant floppy pool noodle. Could be a cleavage. Yeah, that'd be weird. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, a, a, a floppy pool noodle in a cleavage. So, what did you want to know? Well, <laughs> I what story were you telling? Like, I'm sorry, I just completely blanked on the on the story that you were telling. I forget. But, oh, no, no, that Jay West was telling before the cleavage thing through. Uh, uh, looking at people. No, oh, you. no, no, no wait, I said that and oh, then God. he said something else, oh, didn't God, you? We're all fucked up. Welcome to the confusing segment of the show. Should we wrap it up? No, no close, but I want to I wanted uh, yeah, get back the on Yeah, it's going well. But, <laughs> <laughs> this is honestly a great podcast episode. Yeah. This, this is the effect that the cleavage has on the moon. On, on, on men's. I will say one time I was. I'm not men's. Well, one time I was working in retail. You mentioned the cleavage. And this, yeah, mentioned I, the, I mentioned the cleavage. I'm still not a man. I, I was once working in retail, and I had it was like during Black Friday, and I had not been able to sleep because like I was so nervous the night yeah. before about Black Friday. So I was like dead tired, and then uh, like. In the printer section, for some reason, there's this tattoo artist, this pair of tattoo artists, and this girl had like, like a pair of tattoo artists. Th like she, she was a very large bosomed <laughs> woman, I will say, and it was like, it, like she was wearing like barely even a bra, and it was like held uh, together with clips was or some like bralette. I. Uh, could be. Well, uh, let's don't usually work for big breasted women. But but she it well, was like her, it, don't really work it, it, it was like yeah. it's a fancy tank top. Yeah. All <laughs> so she was uh, very big bosomed and very tall and uh, like so my my face was yes. at like breath was at like breast height. She was wearing like super tall heel boots and I was just kind of like I have never to this day uh, seen somebody dressed so. Out there, I, I guess. And, or... Yeah, it was like intentionally provocative, oh, yeah. and that like I'm like I'm sorry, I, like I couldn't even focus, and I like tried my best, and I was like dead tired, <laughs> sorry, and I'm like a... trying to explain the complex mechanics of like printers and what they like, <laughs> have, and they're giving me and they're giving me nothing, and I'm just kind of like uh, I'm sorry, what are you like what? What are you using this for? I'm sorry. And I'm like, I'm sorry. I am tired. I am. I am tired. And There's then, a lot going on here. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like trying to hold it together. Uh, and complex mechanics of printers. There's ink, such as your your ink, right? Okay. Yeah. And then and, and then I'm like halfway through. I'm like, oh, I'm 
I'm, I'm not going to be able to sell an Easy Care subscription with this. I'm just not on it at, yeah. at all. And the guys, like, it's kind of like, I'm, it's, I don't like to use this term, but like elephant in the room of like, I can't focus. Mm -hmm. And they can detect that, like, I can't focus. And I'm like, I'm so sorry. I'm like, I'm like tired. And, and they're just kind of like, they're reveling in it a bit. They're like, oh, that's, you know, that's okay. That's okay. You know, like, <laughs> that's okay. Yeah, yeah. Do but I mean, but it's literally this? like, it's when somebody has that much confidence and they're kind of like, they, they're they getting a kick out of the fact that like, you're, you're uncomfortable. And I wasn't like, badly uncomfortable or yeah, whatever. Like, Anybody can wear whatever they want, yeah. but I don't know what the correct thing to do here. So I like, I, I kept my head down, even though you're supposed to make eye contact with people, but they are taller than me. And, and they're like, staring back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And they're staring. And she was, and she was like super cool and, and super chill about it, and like very friendly. And the guy was very friendly. But of course, because it's a couple, I don't want to seem. Oh, it was it. a couple. Yeah, it was a guy and a girl. They were both tattoo owners. Oh. Yeah, yeah, and they were looking for a printer for their business. Okay. And I was just about to ask about this complex so, mechanics of printing. Sorry, so they were like, who part. knows the most about printing? Me, who no, sold I, like seven hundred and fifty thousand. Dollars worth of printers, yeah, and and the store manager is like, well, he knows the guy, and like, I looked to the guy later, I looked to my boss later, and he was like, and he was like, yeah, how'd that go? And I went, and it was just like, I did my best, and he was like, did you sell it in Easy Care subscription? And I'm like. You know, no. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> you know what? I, I was just, I'm sorry. I was a bit distracted. Yeah. A bit. Sir, sorry, sir. I, I, I'm. Uh, I didn't. I'm not. I'm easy. No, I'm not easy. Yeah. I mean, no, I didn't sell any yeah. easy care. You know what, Dale? But I, we had bigger fish to fry. I did sell but them. They got a printer. A fantastic ink tank, and they did like get a good value of it, and I did give them the best deal, and they oh, were yeah. happy. You and when he, well, and when they know. leave. When they leave, yeah. the guy says to me, uh, you know, try and get some sleep, bro. You, know? <laughs> you deserve it, because you worked so, so hard, he really did say that, no exaggeration. You sold an ink tank to, to some milk tanks. Sorry, I scared you there. <laughs> I was going to say, well done, Will. Well Thank done. you. Everyone. I tried my best. Well done. I, I tried my best. Yeah. But just, just like in uh, the Dane Cook... Uh, the Dane Cook sketch where he's like, when you get upset and you cry, you always like lean back to one phrase and I did my best. I did my best. <laughs> well, that was a good podcast, Will. Yay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you want to end on faux pas or shall we end it here? I was going to say, I'm done to end it we, here. We can't, we can't top that story. Yeah, that's, that's, a, that's to, a good story. To top of, of selling up a gigantic printer. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yeah. gigantic. Mm -hmm. With complex <laughs> mechanics. <laughs> it was a very complex sale and I'm very proud of it. Good yeah. job, you crushed yeah. it. Yeah, we'll you see you next time that. on The Poets. See you yeah, Bye. subscribe, hit the Bye. notification, ring, ring that bell, bell. You. Just, just like it. Uh, just like it. Uh, tell us about your experience with milk tanks um, <laughs> and uh, your best dating experiences. Yeah, yeah, or your worst. Yeah. Or your worst. Definitely the worst. Uh, yeah, those are more interesting. Uh, send me your number. Uh, send Will your number. He's single and uh, lonely. Especially yeah, and I could use we could I could use more guests on my podcast yes, actually. Especially if you need to know about printers. Yeah. Complex guy. mechanics of printers. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's the the ones that he properly conceives. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Oh yeah, though. Bye. 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 Bye.